Queen Tai was born to her parents, Yuya and Tuya, and it is believed by uh, researchers that Yuya and Tuya were actually Nubian because their names are written in a foreign way in some inscriptions. And so is Queen Tai's name. She is clearly not of royal blood, but she did marry royalty later in her husband. The research that has been done about Queen Tai shows that she was worshipped all over Nubia, and that's why her husband erected this giant monument to her. And then it was discovered that her skull, her through craniometrics, was that of a Nubian, and it resembled it. Now, this is a bit confusing because, of course, she was found in her mummy to have long hair. At least her hair looked like it was long from birth. Now, given a lot of research and stuff, we can tell that she was probably Nubian because of so many affiliations that she has to Nubia. Like, first of all, during her period of rule, or I would call it her family clade of rule, um, the Nubian wig became extremely popular with Nefertiti and the whole Amarna period, even for men. And they used these Nubian wigs as a symbol of beauty in this era. Now, why would Nubian wigs be a sign of beauty in Egypt? Uh, this idea that the Nubian wigs were only popular in the Amarna period is challenged. And of course, uh, it makes sense because there was Nubians before that. Now, this woman uh, also donned an afro. She also donned braids. And you can see it all over her other depictions outside of the one that everyone sees is the famous one. She's very... Uh, popular but to leave uh the physical appearance of her out she also played a role in her husband's campaigns when we talk about stuff like communicating with foreign powers for example obviously she communicated with the nubians but she also communicated with the mitanni a race of people from the middle east and she used to negotiate and talk to them and there's a letter addressed to her and there's a letter that is addressed to her husband and other people that talks about her. In fact, it mentions her name as Teye, which is very close because most of the Mitanni, when they translate names, they translate them wrong, but her name is translated almost 100% accurately. The letter says to Teye, the mistress of Egypt, thus the king of Mitanni for me, I say, may all go well. For you may everything go well. For your household and for your sons may everything go well. For Teduhaba, my daughter, may everything go well. For your countries, for your troops, and for whatever else belongs to you, May all go very, very, very well. You are the one that knows that I myself always showed love to Memoria, your husband. And that Memoria, your husband, on the other hand, has always showed love to me. And the things that I would write and say to Memoria, your husband, and the things that Memoria, your husband, would always write and say to me, you, Kilia and Mane, know, but you are the one, on the other hand, who knows much better than all others the things that we said to one another. No one else knows them as well. And no one knows them as well as yourself. Except to Kilia. Say to your Lord, Memoria, my husband, always showed love to your father.
and maintained for you. He did not forget his love for your father, and he did not cut off the embassies that he had been accustomed to, sending one after the other. And, and now you yourself said to Kelia, say to your Lord, Memoria, my husband always showed love to your father and maintained for you. He did not forget his love for your father and he did not cut off the embassies that he had accustomed. You are the one who knows the words of Memoria, your husband, but you did not send all of my greeting gifts that your husband ordered to be sent. I asked your husband for statues of solid cast gold, saying, may my brother send me as my greeting gift statues of solid cast gold of genuine lapis lazuli. But now Nephariah, your son, has plated statues of wood with gold, being the dirt in your son's country. Why have they been a source of such distress to your son that he has not given them to me? Furthermore, I ask to give this is this love. I, I have said, Nephariah, my brother, is going to treat me ten times better. That is that then his father did. But now he will, has not given me even what his father was accustomed to give. Why have you not exposed before Nefiria the words that you yourself and with your own mouth said to me? If you do not expose them before him and you keep silent, can anyone else know let Neferia give me statues of solid gold. He must cause me no distress whatsoever, nor let him treat me ten times better than this, than his father did. With the love and evidence of esteem, may your own messengers go regularly with the messengers of Neferia, with five to uni my wife and may the messengers of uni my wife go regularly i and her with send as gift your greeting sent containers with sweet oil set of stones set in gold it is obvious to tell by these words and other certain evidences that Queen Tai was heavily involved in the building of the nation of Egypt at this time and maintaining it, even the relations with the Nubians, which she had close connection 